We traveled to Hayward, California to investigate two mansions built in the 1800s. The first is Meek Mansion. Built in 1869, this mansion has three floors, 26 rooms, a small basement, and a cistern for water storage. It was built for the family of William Meek, who was considered the first farmer of Alameda County. The Meek family were very well known in the area for many years. They were a high-class family with involvements in politics and big business. Their estate consisted of 3,000 acres initially, but was progressively sold off for housing development. By 1940, the estate was down to 10 acres, and the Meek family would sell the property with the mansion and move away. In 1964, the mansion was in danger of being torn down for more housing development, but the efforts of those who wished the mansion be preserved were able to spare the Meek estate and place it on the National Register of Historic Places. The Hayward Area Historical Society invited several of us to investigate the mansion in an event they organized called Voices from the Past. Martinez Paranormal, along with the American Paranormal Research Association, also known as APRA, have come together to find and document evidence of paranormal activity. An investigation that would be witnessed by members of other groups and some who are first-time investigators. The mansion is very spacious and the grand staircase at the center shows the luxury the Meeks were accustomed to. During that time, hospitals were very rare, so family deaths occurred inside the mansion. Our investigation begins on the second floor, where Matthew Goldman from APRA leads an EVP session. Leading from another thought of yours, uh, it could be the manifestation of the, and how whatever's feeling the room is doing. So that's a good way to make a connection. Uh, I would ask everybody to count to 10 in their head like after someone asks a question before you ask, so that there's a little space. And try to tag if you make a movement or make a sound of any kind. Don't, don't whisper. Just talk in a low tone of voice. Is this a place of great joy for you? Did anybody hear that? Did someone's stomach growl or anything? Did everybody hear that? I didn't hear it. No. I didn't hear what it. What was it? What? Well, if that was you, I'd like to thank you. I'll be right back. We're going to try to listen and see what the hell that was. Um, I heard a sound. It came from right in, in here, didn't it? I've heard it from this area. It was over there. Is this a place of great joy for you? Anybody hear that? Yeah. Did someone that like raw blue? Yeah. I'm sorry? Was it that like raw blue? Or something? Did anybody hear that? Yeah, I don't hear it at all. Yeah. It's really bizarre. Because I clearly heard that. Alright, okay, whatever. You guys are deaf. What <laughs> 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 do you do? <laughs> What is so special about this room? Was this your bedroom?
The Meeks weren't the only ones living in this place. They had servants that maintained the home during the day. They had small living quarters in the mansion. Do you mind that we're visiting? Oh wow, that was really cool. Where did that come from? That was under my feet. Was it? Floor adjusting. It wasn't oh. behind you? Yeah, but here's something. My battery just drained. Oh, wow. How was around 75 minutes. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Was that 75 minutes? Left All right, well, minutes. let's see. No, we yeah, there's still seven five minutes. I wonder how this works. Uh, something's trying to communicate. <laughs> Our camera had mysteriously been drained of battery power, which would leave us with just the audio recording for the rest of the session. After changing the battery in the camera, we moved down to the basement and entered a large cistern located in the lowest level. Like being inside an enormous concrete bottle, this room creates an echo effect that amplifies our own voices. Do you use this water for your gardens and your plants? Please walk over to this part of the basement. I want to hear you walk over here. As we moved on, I decided to leave a camera in the cistern, along with a K2 to monitor EMF activity. I'm here at the bottom of the, what is the water well of the Mika State, and I'm going to leave a still camera here to record while well, nobody's down here. I'm going to leave a K2 running, see if it puts up any fluctuations of the EMF. For about an hour until the battery ran out, the camera would capture audio of other groups coming down to the cistern to investigate. Careful. Yeah, it's kind of slippery too. Yeah. Did you have one of the WP down here? Yeah. Might as well. We gotta stand still. And the sister, who wants to start off? Awesome. 
if there's anyone down here, how long have you been down here, and are you happy? Did something bad happen to you down here? It's very quiet down here. Can you make some noise? Nothing unusual would occur until the group moves on and our camera once again alone in the darkness would capture an unusual sound. The sound resembles someone gasping for air. Not realizing what we captured, we end up on the third floor where APRA conducts a music experiment. Using the music of the Meeks era, we try to bring out the spirits with something they may be familiar with. I'm recording. Third floor. Hi, Matthew. Hi. Hey, guys. I love that you are monitoring this stairwell. Yes, I'm stairwell. I think that was fantastic. <laughs> How many people are in this room? Is it a perfect number, man? It's the perfect number. It's a safe number. Like some some evidence was captured. We're gonna go downstairs. Start the timer, Brad. Start the timer. Our camera would not capture anything unusual, but another group on the second floor were able to capture a shadow figure moving. It was the catch of the night, but our catch would come on the following night at a different mansion. As we wrap up, the one thing I noticed about the kitchen on the first floor would bring up questions about what happened early in the investigation. I was leading an EVP session with a group of investigators on the formal dining room located next to the kitchen. As you can hear in the audio, a buzzing sound was emanating from the kitchen and I pointed it out at the beginning of the session. EVP session, we are in the formal dining room of the Beak Estate. hear a buzzing noise is coming from the kitchen. It looks like it's the refrigerator running. Thinking it was the refrigerator running, I think nothing of it. That is until late in the investigation. All right, uh, we were here during the EVP session with the group. This is the formal dining room, that was the kitchen. Now during the EVP session, we were hearing like an appliance running, so we thought it was the refrigerator. We decided to check it out and look what we found. See, over here is the kitchen. The only appliance here is the refrigerator. Looks like it's original. 
and the oven. Now the oven doesn't run at all. It's an oven. So we thought the refrigerator was running, but it hasn't been plugged in in who knows how many years. This refrigerator has not been working at all for who knows how long. So what the hell was running? We look all over, there's no other appliances around here. trying to debunk this and we still haven't heard anything turn on. Nothing's been running at all in the past, what? It's three hours. This, this, this is weird. What was running from the kitchen during our EVP session? I don't see anything. The Meek Mansion gave us a few interesting experiences, but the next night would be more tense. McConaughey Mansion was built in 1886. Unlike the Meeks, the McConaughey's were a middle class family with much smaller land and a much smaller home. For 85 years the family would call this place home, but not without living through tragedy. The oldest son Archie would be killed in an accident nearby. The horse he was riding on was pulling farm equipment. As he crossed the railroad tracks, something startled the horse and Archie was knocked onto the ground then run over by the farm equipment the horse was pulling. He would later die in the mansion. The Hayward Area Historical Society decided to recreate the wake service for Archie that occurred in the mansion based on newspaper descriptions. This included turning over the family pictures on the wall and tables just as it was done at the time. investigation takes us to the large attic where most of the paranormal activity documented takes place. Is there any kind spirit up here with us? Anybody that comes up here to hide? There's motorcycle noise. Everyone that is up here is friendly. You can touch one of us if you want. Or you can show yourself, we're not afraid. Is there anyone up here with us? to be lonely we are here and we will always come back I had placed a digital voice recorder near the center of the room it was able to capture some responses to our questions is there a message you'd like to give us that we could pass out pass down to any uh, living relatives We have ways of uh, finding them and passing those messages on.
and we can pass out, pass it down to any uh, living relatives. We have ways of uh, finding them and passing those messages on. It's Christmas time. Everybody come up so you can get your presents. I need everybody in front of me. Christmas time. Everybody come up so you can get your presents. I need everybody in front of me. Once again, music would be used to bring out the spirits. He crouches down. This is the fourth photo. Mm -hmm. This is the third photo. He's still crouched down. He's still crouched down, but you see that? Yeah. Watch the first photo. Oh, wow. That's uh, badass. Well, what we're seeing is we see Brandon on the mm -hmm. right side and next to the pillar. And Jeremy. And yeah. Jeremy's on the left side and, and right in between them. And something that appears to have a head and a shape in between them. Mm -hmm. Right. As you see the next photo, it's moved more towards Jeremy. Yeah, I love it. Now show us the other pictures that this you is, took right this after. This is right after. It's gone. It's gone. Took one the other way. Don't mind all this junk. This is bugs mm -hmm. flying yeah. around. Took more. Went back over here. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Nothing. 
maybe something up there, but I'm probably sure that was a bug. Nothing. The white mass captured by one of our cameras would be the best evidence of the night. The capture occurred as our night vision camera was rolling in the same direction. A review of the footage shows that the area does not have reflective surfaces, so it would not be any sort of contamination. You can see the flash from the camera at the moment the picture was taken. It is visible on the night vision camera, but the apparition is not. Which means the apparition was not visible in infrared, but was visible in a different spectrum of light. Plus another picture captured from the same position earlier shows the apparition floating as it was manifesting. As this was going on in the attic, on the second floor hallway, our camera captures a reaction of some of the investigators after witnessing a shadow figure. I saw a shadow over here, so it was on the other side of this. But it was just barely, you could just barely see just a little bit of it. Yeah. And it didn't correlate with the people going to the bathroom because there were a lot of shadows when they were coming in. No, uh, it was actually during the music piece. What did it do? It, just, it was just a little bit of a shadow that I could, I, just, I was sitting back there. Mm -hmm. So it was just a little bit I could see. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. Did it move in and out? Just kind of to the side and back. Like right, that. that's what they do. That's what they got. Yeah, it's just, it's just kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't tell you if it was a person or not because it just no, was so slight. Anything? 